A long and winding road has brought us to Waikato Stadium in the final of the 2021 Bunnings NPC Premiership between home team Waikato and two-time defending champions Tasman. Now Lamb. Trying to hold him up is strange, but it's there for Atima. Finau this time making sure he hangs on to it. Player almost tipped up there too in the middle of that ruck, rampling. Powerful figure in the midfield. Tasman, I think, have turned this. Oh no, they had it right the first time, but I think they've gone in the second time and incurred a penalty. Perfect conditions for goal kicking. He's just 16, 17 metres in from touch to open the scoring in the final. And Waikato have the lead. Yep. Keep our binds up. The locking combination, tuck up. And Bird have had some injury issues there. Waikato, Lachlan McConnell in particular. Crouch. Injured out of it, he'd be in such Bates. great form. Sit. Chapman puts it in and scampers away to the left. Little show of the ball and he keeps going and he's got it away to Regan Ware. Sprinting for the corner and in. Tasman strike against the run of play and they hit the lead in the final. And talking about momentum too, it wasn't too long ago that was all Waikato. We saw the stats. On you. It starts to spin, starts to spot, just find some space and then a pin perfect pass to Regan Ware and the Hamilton boys local product will advantage. score against his old team. Oh, all that work was done by Louis Captain. So, so, so deceptive with the ball in two hands. In fact, with the inside ball, gave it out to Regan Ware, and what a finisher he the is. Seen him do that plenty of time on the World 7 Series circuit. Dead silence with the Aviva. An absolute cacophony of noise here at Waikato. And you think it's put him off? Not on your life. What a kick. So Regan Ware, the man born in Tokoroa, with a brilliant try, the first of the final. Yeah, and you're so used to seeing the likes of Finlay Christie, the bright red hair of Finlay doing that, but congratulations, Louis Chapman, you've had a great year. Now they spread it away to the right. Nice ball for Strange, Tamatamanawai, who's just so good at bumping them off. Good support here too, Tasman. Coming back strongly now, although that's a loose pass and it's picked up by Balin Sullivan and he'll go all the way. Just when Tasman looked to be taking control, Waikato strike back through Balin Sullivan. And let's not forget just how important Balin Sullivan was earlier in the year, especially in the first half, tackle after tackle he made. Oh, and he also created that opportunity for himself as well, didn't he? It was the line speed from the Waikato Mulu men. It put him in the right position. When the ball didn't go to hand, it was the perfect bounce, to be fair, for him as well. Bounced up straight into his hand. He was already on the fly. Well, just what you need when it looked like the tables had turned. Waikato back in front by 10-7. to 7. The try by Balin Sullivan converted by D'Angelo Liuila. Segna. Dyer coming out all over him. Chapman, they switch it to Hunt on the left. Has a little look, decides to step. And uh, taken yeah, rather advantage. high, yeah. Oh, Referee's got Jacobson for that. Fanga Anuku. And there's a penalty here. Penalty count just starting to go the other way now. A lot of penalties in Tasman have chosen to take the shot. Waikato, you have seen that they've stopped. They will take the shot at this post. Uh, again, keeping his concentration. Brave Tasman fans, fins up, yep. Yeah. Three points, ten all. Sit. Siren goes. Well, they've got to get it out of there. And no, 
They get a penalty. Well, here's an opportunity right on the stroke of half time for Waikato to take the lead. And the man getting the pats on the back is Greg, uh, George Dyer, I should say, not Greg, George Dyer. Mako have been making mincemeat of Waikato in the past few scrums, so heading into the break, this gives them good confidence. Well, now Tasman ruining the fact that they could have got the ball in and out and into touch, but here's the kick to take the lead on the stroke of half time. It's over, and Waikato lead Tasman 13 to 10 in the final. Still there for Tasman. Now Sam Martinga stretching out to the five metre mark and the referee's playing advantage. Well, they've got numbers away to the left. It's slow ball. Hunt, well, he thought about a kick through in the end. Well, a rather hopeful James, nudge straight to the hands of Ryan Tongia. So penalty right out in front Roll now. Away. Can't beat on that side. Well, they haven't put him off so far. And they still haven't put him off. Scores a level. Five, six minutes into the second half. It's 13 all in the final. Now Chapman arrives. He'll put it high, no doubt. Here it goes. Nawai coming home. He's missed it completely. And it's snapped up by Tama Tama Nawai. The two Fijians marking each other down that side of the field. Big pass into centre field. Nankerville. Oh, they've done it again. Sullivan's going to get a double. Action replay. Two times. He has seen the ball on the ground. Now, have they made advantage? No, they probably haven't, but Balen Sullivan is playing to the whistle. He sees that ball on the ground for the second time and will sprint it into the arms of his teammates and dot that one down. Oh, you've got to look at Gideon Rampling as well. It was his line speed. He got up, oh, he disrupted you. the pass from Alex Nankerville. And again, opportunist try to Balen Sullivan, but why not? He's got the pace. He had the hands to collect the ball. Fantastic individual try. The kick goes over. Three points would be good. Seven would be a whole lot better. And now the change of angle. Al Moore brushing them off the big man. Advantage is over. Referee says advantage over as he steams inside the 22. McDonald. Good leg drive to the five metre mark. Chapman is there. Now the wind up from Inch. They pop it up. Hicks is there, just a metre from the line. Tasman looking to get themselves back into the final. And they're in. And it's Quentin Strange who goes over, puts the fin up. A chance now to level. This is the initial break. Lever Almoa, two carries since he's been on the field, and both of them have been good. Could have passed it just a little bit there, but it doesn't matter. From here, they build phases, and Quinn Strange spots a gap makes his way through and has scored an important try for Tasman. Conversion is good. It's 20 all. We're all locked up. 13 to play in Hamilton. It's exactly who I said Number would five. be a big game breaker, and it was Levi Omoa. Here is the end of it. A great pass to get in between the two people for Quentin Strange, but Levi Omoa, outstanding, outstanding player. Good protection of the ball from Waikato. Ratima didn't have anyone to pass it to. He's done well, though. Drop, though, by Tucker. No harm done. Tasman coming through. Rampling has to pick it up. And breaks okay. through a couple Playing of tackles. Referee playing advantage. Segner's got him, though, and he's ripped it away. But no penalty. And this one right out in front for Fletcher Smith. Not supporting your body weight. He's gone right over to his forearms. You heard Nick Berry say he was on his forearms. Now he's on the ball there, definitely clear picture. Not supporting his body weight. And this one to put my couple in front, and he's done it.
Just over eight minutes to go, and the home team hit the lead again. Just stay with you. Tahori Urangi, first kick as a Waikato man. And it's a contestable one for sure. And all oh, storming through and grabbing it is Norris. He's it. It. just having a sensational game. Messon now with the pass. Oh, brilliant ball into space. Here's the chance to put the final out of reach. Rampling didn't throw the pass, though. Oh, he had a man outside him. Tongia. Ball still there for Waiko. Steaming through the middle. It's seven penny final. And that might just be the winner. Referee wants a look. Referee wants a look. Hold the tickets. Liam Coombs fabling. If he's touched that ball. Oh, did he get a finger on it? Or has that just gone straight through the hands? It's got to be clear and obvious. I'm not sure that is. Okay. Oh, he's called it. He's called it. He's called it. Crowd don't like it. Yeah. Ball certainly yeah, passed line, through the hands, and he's decided, Shane McDermott, that he got a hand. Oh, boy, that's a big call. Yeah, and Tucker now swings it away. The Mulu Chaga. Oh, no, it's a penalty. penalty. It's he's not over top yet. Top, top. But judging by the body language, it looks like the Makua spent. Well, they've got time for a line out. Oh, what drama have we got left in this one? They're going to get one shot at the three-feet here, Tasman. If I was Tasman, I would give the ball to Levi Omoa as many times as possible. So McDonald will Waikato contest the line-out. Oh, it's a loose one. Not going to be denied. Mitch Jacobson puts it into touch. And in their 100th year, Waikato are the champions of New Zealand rugby. And look at the energy, 100 years of storied success. Ranfurly Shields, a factory of All Blacks. 100 years of celebrations, and now, again, your NPC champions.